Hey y'all, so it is currently 5.41 in the morning and I am currently late to the airport, but I did want to give you guys a quick OOTD because I am completely obsessed with this outfit, like oh my god. Um, so this is really a whole Target outfit except for the shirt. It is a fancy homebody shirt um, and you know they are like the scams dupe, but this is a cute little jacket from Target. I knew I wanted it to be kind of small because it was a cropped jacket and I kind of think I still want to size down so I may return it when I get back and can we just talk about the pants y'all. They're floor length, they're wide leg and I've been trying to get these pants from like Nike but they're just too expensive and the fact that, oh, that Target has these, oh my god, and they're high waisted. Do you see how high and they're still like covering my shoes? Obsessed. They only have them in this color, which is, this is considered black, but I would call this like a charcoal. And they only have it in a khaki. And I'm kind of wondering, is that more of a yellow khaki or like a regular khaki? So, I just have some sunglasses, because of course, this is a travel vlog, and then I have some hearts on. Um, I'm gonna probably take this one off. I'm wearing a mask, of course, so I'm not gonna worry about these. Um, Apple Watch, I don't have any, my nails are literally nubs. That's nothing to worry about, um, and I have, because I don't have to, I'm not carrying my work laptop, so I just have my meal rate bag as my tote bag, and then I have my base luggage, which is already in the car, Ace is going to get gas, so, toodles, see you guys soon. Guess where we are? We're in LA. So we're only here for like 48 hours. Very quick trip. We have a full day today and we have a busy day tomorrow and we're back out of here on Monday morning. But I wanted to give you guys a cute little and nice little room tour because I'm staying at the Hyatt, um, the Thompson Hollywood. Y'all, I think I'm becoming a Hyatt girl now. Uh, I they got me i think i'm becoming a higher girl like even to the fact where i got my room fee waived like y'all it's 10 o'clock in the morning and i have a room like i got my early check-in fee waived so so happy about that but i'm so glad i didn't have to like wait kill time to even think about a room so um just to start off the quick room tour but of course we are in love with this gorgeous mirror y'all it is a floor to ceiling window i mean not window um uh, mirror love it love the vibes another look i know i kind of gave you gave you guys a look at the airport outfit earlier but i just wanted something that was like very comfortable very cool um this is a jacket a crop jacket from target this is a fancy homebody um shirts and then this are these are target baggy wide leg pants i am getting every color that they decide to make in these because i absolutely love these i saw these on somebody's instagram and i instantly instantly went to buy them and then i have my p6000s on um as you guys know i really want the vomeros but i refuse to spend that much money on tennis shoes myself so they're on my ace of wish list <laughs> but continuing with the room tour this is the bathroom and then I love this closet I've stayed at a Thompson before of course in Austin if you guys go back and watch any of my Austin vlogs you will see that I've stayed at the Tommy and I've stayed at the Thompson and this is the Thompson and I love how they did this glass closet like <sighs> absolutely love that and then here's the king bed. 
love the old hollywood palm springs type feel to the room um and then here's i realize this, this room doesn't have a desk but i do love that it has a bench and then the tv and then here's the view so i don't know is that part of the hotel oh, i think that's a different hotel that's a different hotel but this the thompson does have a rooftop as well um yeah if anybody knows me they know i i this is absolutely absurd i'm so sorry to be sitting on the bed in my outside clothes but um trying to figure out what's gonna happen today so i have a free day I don't have anything planned. I do know I want to get like breakfast, lunch, because I am a little hungry. I don't want to tire myself out because I have a full day tomorrow. Um, yeah. So I wrote down a couple of places that I may want to go and grab lunch at or brunch at. I may look some places on Yelp, but like I said, this is a quick in and out trip. There's nothing planned in it there's nothing i did pack something for dinner like something real cute so i may actually there's this place called cara that i want to go to and then but thompson also has really good restaurants so since it's only me i didn't bother making reservations but hopefully i can get a seat at some um i am a little thirsty i'm tired honestly i didn't get any sleep um from from like going out last night when we went to the concert and you'll see that in the previous vlog to literally taking like a three hour nap finish packing this morning getting to the airport going through that whole thing like i walked straight up to the thinky pre-check so and there was no line in pre-check um and going from there Ooh, sorry you guys i'm sleepy i'm tired so part of me is like go get something to eat and then come back and crash and chill i really don't feel like doing anything if i'm being 100 percent honest and i know i kept saying like oh that's my first time in la just on some chill vibes i don't have an agenda blah 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 um but i'm like i don't have an agenda i can't chill so we'll see i'll keep you guys updated of course um how are we going to spend these 48 hours in LA? Stay tuned. So we work it out every day. We be making things for sure. You know what they say about the grass and what you water that's gonna come. So many pros. Yeah, yeah, I know you love the way I'm looking at my teeth. You wish that you could hold that I know you love the way my body says you love. Yeah, there's a reason I walk like this. I walk like this. Like in the video, I don't edit my fix. I work for it. I want my shit. And when I'm walking by, I know the truth is. She wants to know how she gets that ass like that. When she gets that ass like that. She wants to know how she gets that ass like that. I remember I told you that. Yeah. Shorty, I'm a fan of the star. Just the one. And hopefully we make it enough time. 
y'all it's been 40 days and 40 nights later i literally came in from brunch and from trader joe's i didn't even take y'all in trader joe's i took y'all to brunch with me but i didn't take y'all in trader joe's and I, I i went to sleep i have realized that every single trip that i go on now i am sleep deprived i think i want to be outside truth is i'm not prepared to be outside auntie is has been unseen lately Y'all, I literally have been asleep since like Pacific time one, maybe two, maybe three, two o'clock. And it's like on and off and I was like, damn, the bed just won't let me go. Like I've woken up several times. Like I've answered my phone whenever it's wrong. Like I haven't overslept or anything like that. I just literally cannot let the bed go. So I'm just like, what is happening? And I was supposed to do dinner tonight. <laughs> That's failed. It is currently 10 12. I'm not like hungry. I'm not starving or anything. I could eat. So I am debating like just throwing on some clothes and like ordering some food. But who wants to eat this late? So part of me is like, do I just like starve until in the morning and just get up in the morning and i really want to like do a workout class but i don't want to spend 15 credits on solid core to do a, a yoga I me mean, to do pilates class where i know i'm like gonna sweat my fucking hair out and i'm just like i just want to do a nice soft like little class so there's like no, no real pilates classes or anything which fucking sucks there's no yoga classes <sighs> so i may just get up in the morning it's kind of like i said it's 10 o'clock i may just get up in the morning go find a cute little coffee shop um go work so i really still do need to edit like my plan today was like oh i was gonna come back to the room get in the bed edit <laughs> that did not happen everything is still sitting here on the bed like i just picked my phone up to put it on charge that's how like no life has been had i at least got up and closed the blinds um yeah no life has been had <laughs> here um but I can't say I'm, I'm sad or disappointed because I'm actually okay with this. Like, I need to sleep. Like, oh my God, not me on y'all internet, on Al Gore's internet looking like this. <sighs> but yeah. So, I am going to, I'm about to get up and shower. I am about to get up and shower because I feel like I'm, I'm, I've slept now. But the problem is now I have to take a melatonin to go back to sleep. And y'all, okay, so let me tell y'all this. Let me make sure I'm covered up. So, and then I'm dehydrated. First of all, why am I dehydrated? I have no clue. But I'm dehydrated. I don't know where that came from. But I stopped by Trader Joe's because I was like, I've really been wanting like some acid, like something. You know how sometimes if you're a Sprite drinker or a Coke drinker, you're just like, I gotta have it. I gotta have the Coke. I gotta have the Sprite. So I'm a Sprite drinker. And for like the past two days, I've been like, ugh craving one but i'm also not trying to get into the craving of like a sprite so i was like oh i'm gonna just get like some spark sparkling water so like maybe it's the um it's the acid that i want maybe it's the bubbles that i'm really craving so i picked this up and this is the can you guys see it the trader joe's italian sparkle water. this is banging at first i had a period you can never go wrong with a period and I was like, no, this is cheaper. And I'm going to try this. It's the Italian sparkling mineral water. This is so good. So this actually may become a favorite. This may actually become a thing. I don't know if my Trader Joe's sell this. So I may have to look around and like ask them, can they like get it in? Can Trader Joe's special order things from you from another Trader Joe's? They not like that? I don't know. Maybe that's a little too bougie. Maybe that's a little too... Maybe that's a little too presumptuous of me but yeah no life has been had no worries my friend texted me, my friend called me she was like and i just realized like i just checked her location and i realized she was an hour out from me and here go in my mind i was like oh girl when you get here we'll figure it out 
how small minded of me. So I'm so glad when I told her, I was like, girl, I just woke up. Because even when she called me, I had just woke up. I dozed off. Like, I literally was like getting in bed to watch a YouTube video. YouTube has just been playing. I don't know what's played. I, I just can tell you what I've watched. So, um, I am now going to <laughs> stay up for a minute. I'm going to stay up for a minute. I may try to edit. Um, cause I need to clear, I do need to clear out some memory cards. I am trying to be more consistent, you guys. So. We will see. That's all I can really say right now is we will see. But I do really want to get up in the morning. And throw on, cause I don't have to be where I have to be until like two. So I have most of the morning. That's why I'm like, I'm not in a rush. And I'm not gonna particularly be tired tomorrow. So should I find something to do? Oh. Hmm. I'm starting to think. So I'm now watching LA vlogs, which I really didn't do. I was like just tagging stuff as I was seeing them on Instagram or whatever. But now I'm watching a, a weekend LA vlogs to get inspiration for things I can do tomorrow and then I leave early Monday. So I'm like, I'm ain't is ain't and so I'm really fine with a nice like coffee shop food. Like today I went to the record store. I um which actually I may go back to tomorrow. It was really close. Um what else did I do? That was it. That was it. Okay. So I did want to do a quick. Can you can see me? I don't even know. I feel like I'm crooked though. All right. I did want to do a quick little haul for you guys though, because I did go to the record store, and I was like, when I passed it, it was like, oh, wait, hold up. Exciting. So I got a few little records. I got the. Yo, these are goodies too. I got the Isley Brothers between the sheets. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. First of all, this one is so Memphis of me. <laughs> this one is so Memphis of me. Um, Project Pat. Good googly moogly. Good googly moog. That is just a. Hey, hey, hey. All right, man. All right, so this one is so Memphis of me. But this is, I think this is a single. Yeah, this is just a single. But this is, this is platinum. Like, good googly moogly. Ugh. So, yeah. Um. I got Bobby Womack. Greatest hits. Like, you can't go wrong with Bobby Womack. Like. Mm. And last but not least. Oh, actually, no, I have another one. So, for any of my blues lovers, or I literally grew up with this man, like, playing in my, playing, like, and also these people that I'm showing now are, like, soundtracks to my life because they were integral parts of me growing up. My family is a big blues family, like, southern blues. Like, they'll quickly say, blues me before you blues me. So, this man right here is an integral part of my life. Joe Simon um specifically in this album the power of Joe Simon oh my god platinum platinum in our household and last but not least I really feel like I got a steal for this one like a steal for this one because guess who it is Johnny mother Taylor <laughs> If you're from the South, if you're from Mississippi, if you're from Memphis, like, you know who this man was. And this album was recorded in the Stax Records, like, right downtown. Like, and this is not just a one record. This is a double vinyl. Like, who was making love? Love balls? Still away? Show what has got your girl and gone. These are his. 
this is probably the best one that I picked up and it was eight dollars wait I think I maybe actually got this for two dollars we're getting careless with our love like I'm sorry I may actually have to push Asa off the record player for this one because you say what now say who this is the one Mr. Johnny Taylor himself yes I'm such an old soul but I because this is my thing when I go to a record store I don't go I go with the advantage of like looking for I don't like to get like modern records I like to get anything that's like like I said things that's like soundtrack to my my childhood like old it's like old records um anything that like my my parents played or even my sisters played that's like ingrained into my brain so that's why these albums are like except for the project pad project pad was like something that came up in school because the i mean it's just a part of my environment so that's my quick little record haul final record haul y'all i don't know why you know, I am literally up at 10 30 like it's 2 2 o'clock in the morning and I always do this like when I was in college and I would get like drunk and go to sleep I would literally wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning like all right let's go I'm about to get you rest <laughs> we can still catch the last 30 minutes type thing and it's like girl no we're not going nowhere I don't know it's a sickness i have and i never knew that i would like take this on into my adulthood in different functions such as taking midnight naps and it's so crazy because we was at the concert the other night you yeah, guys saw in the last vlog and we were at the rita brand um rita brand had did like a comedy stand and she was like man i took two two as you get older you take just you just be taking naps and she was like i took two on purpose and one on accident and i can't say nothing but i feel her because why would that happen to me today? I was supposed to take a quick little nap. And then I was supposed to get up. Go to dinner. Yeah, I haven't eaten since earlier. Go to dinner. Come back. And just chill. Like, it was. And this is also supposed to be, like, my self-care. So. We still gonna make it happen. We still have one more day to get it right. So, tomorrow, I do want to go, like, maybe just go walk. Or what's that a famous hill that people go walk up? But it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's actually supposed to start raining in, like, the next 10 minutes. So, we'll see. And that's another thing. Every time I come to freaking L.A., it rains. And they say it's always sunny in California. No, it's not. Not in my experience. Like, it legit, it's like, last time I was here with pre-pandemic, it rained. Like, I think it rained the first two days I was here. So now it's raining the last few days I'm here. And this is so upsetting. So upsetting. But anyway, we move on. I want to wash my hands off from touching those records. I'm going to get in the bed. I'm going to edit a little bit. I have, like, three vlogs I'm currently, like watching and hopefully they like drown out and i go back to sleep and then i sleep through the night um i want to shower probably pop a melatonin and then just get up in the morning around like seven eight o'clock so fun fact can you guys see me let me focus it i have now ordered <laughs> and i now went on this whole tangent about how here i know i went on this whole tangent about how like oh i'm about to go to bed blah 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 no let me so you guys can see me i ordered food because i'm starving i haven't eaten since like earlier oh they put my sprite in here this is interesting so I finally got my spray. They put it in the pouch. I actually appreciate that. She said no ice. And I ordered myself tacos. I love that. Love that for me. So I ordered me a tostado. I ordered a bunch of shit actually. But then this is something. This is something. This is something. So I'm glad they put it in place. Let me wash my hands. Give me one moment. Let me wash my hands. Also, fun fact, there's a club in my hotel. Who would 
up and down. And the guy in the elevator, I was like, wait. Because you don't hear it. They do such a good job in hiding it. They didn't give me a straw. Um, They do such a good job in like... The guy was like, I don't know why they don't advertise it. But he was like, oh, you're a hotel guest. So you definitely can like get in for free. And I was like, I literally am going to get my Uber order. Yeah, I don't know what I order. I was just ordering shit. Whatever that is doesn't have enough sauce. If anyone knows me, no, I'm a sauce person. do a very quick little OTD because you guys have seen some I'm sorry you guys have seen some of these pieces before I'm currently watching um LCBC so if you've been following me for a while I still follow and watch my church from New York <laughs> um on the Sunday so I don't actually go to my church in Dallas but this is the same um crop jacket that i had on yesterday from target this is my fave and lo and behold and odie but goodie jumpsuit from target i mean not from target from old navy like this thing can be dressed up or dressed down i absolutely love this and then i have on my gray p6000s and i just decided to keep my glasses on um and i just kept my hair down straight so I may throw it into a ponytail later. Um, just depending on if I get tired. And I have on my Michael Kors glasses. So I'm about to go to a coffee shop to get breakfast. I was trying to get into a Pilates class this morning. I thought I had already booked one. Um, turns out I didn't, because you guys know I have class pass, so I don't necessarily have to pay for one. And then the one that I was looking at to paying, <coughs> it was like $50 for a drop-in class. And I was just like, yeah no so um yeah so i don't think pilates is happening but i'm just gonna walk to the coffee shop that i want to go to and then um that'll be like my exercise for today to be honest um so yeah we're gonna do that i'm gonna walk to yeah we're gonna do that i'm gonna walk to the to the coffee shop it's called Havista. I think it's only maybe like less than 15 minutes away kind of the same walk that I had yesterday I think in the opposite direction though so yeah it's less than a half a mile away so a three minute car drive and it's an 11 minute walk so that's easy it's an 11 minute walk so good morning it's February the 18th too if you guys were wondering but yeah um I have my bag packed. I have my AirPods. My phone is charged. <sighs> what else do I need? Um, no necklace. I'm just in case a Pilates class does get canceled. I went ahead and like put on my Pilates socks and everything just so. So I'm like, it's um, it's really past that time though. Because usually you would know 15 minutes before. Which I was like, oh, let me just go ahead and get ready. And I would just take a car there that's not happening so yeah so we're gonna do this um but it's been a very chill like weekend like it's been the overcast has been crazy um let me show you guys why is she running so yeah overcast has been crazy um even the palm trees are like drooping so i'm just gonna go to this coffee shop for about an hour or two 
um because i don't think the event starts until like 11. so probably try to get there around like 11 30 11 45 um because it's not my event i'm just literally there to observe and take notes <laughs> so why do all the hard work you know why help set up like if i don't have to i'm not gonna try and it's, i'm already working on a weekend let's not let's not get too hasty here um but yeah let's go Thank you. 